A while back, we spent $1,300 on a brand new hood and it showed up looking like something from Wish.com. Fortunately, after a series of unfortunate events, we ended up with something pretty dang epic. For weeks, I've been trying to convince the world that Primer is the new Nardo Gray. And I have failed at that debate repeatedly, so badly in fact, that today we are finally taking care of this monstrosity of a hood from RK Sport, this fiberglass hood with this functional Ram Air. This is one of the coolest looking aftermarket hoods, if not the only aftermarket hood for the newer generation Silverados, but it came with a hefty price tag of north of $1,000. $1,326.09 to be exact. In terms of money, we have no money. But when it arrived, it definitely did not look like a thousand dollar hood because it arrived with dozens of imperfections and damages which we spent our entire first day with the hood trying to correct and fiberglass bondo is not the easiest to deal with and we in fact have more repairs to do but fortunately we did get a jump start on today got this truck cleaned up washed up early this morning so we should be able to get started right now and speaking of being started yep the show's fully charged let's see if this works all right please start please start it's alive That stuck to the primer a lot better than I thought it was going to. And this is not even sanded, this is still a rough primer. So that's actually really good news. This is a test sample I had that I wanted to test out on the hood for a few days to make sure it held, make sure it stuck, make sure it didn't pull back at all, and it did very well. And this is the most realistic carbon fiber vinyl on the market. It's a 6D carbon fiber from Tiny Pot Vinyl. I'll put a link in the description below for this, but that's gonna be later today. The actual roll of it, apparently somewhere in Dallas at the moment, it's scheduled to be delivered today, and I'm hoping it's delivered today because I want to finish this today. So apparently we have a heat index today of 112 degrees. It is 10 a.m., 95 degrees, excessive heat warning. But what we have here is our hood ready to be pulled off. We loosened the bolts up, but I do need my wife out here to help me lift this thing off. As far as the design of the RK Sport hood, the concept and idea of the Ram Air functional scoop is pretty cool. You'll see some of the duct work under here, and you'll see this opening, which the Ram Air funnels that air directly there, blowing on top of our air box, which actually pulls its air from up here, not over there. So essentially all it's doing is just dusting up <laughs> the engine bay a lot quicker than it would. But the idea and concept is cool. If you want it functional, you'd have to pull that entire box head off and have the air rush directly on top of that filter. But it does take out any protection that this natural flow of air would provide you. But the idea is pretty cool. Execution on the other hand has some room for opportunity. Now, if you guys are by chance new to the channel, the garage, I'm a crazy Hawaiian Texan that loves cars. We have our ZL1, which we just finished, our custom Hawaiian style livery across the front. We have our 2020 Trail Boss and our 07 Silverado, which is going to get loved soon. But I'm learning that if you custom order and build parts for off-road trucks, it takes a little bit of time for those companies to build those parts. But it's almost done. It's almost done. This thing is going to be an absolute riot. Also, if you're enjoying the content at any point in this video, feel free to smash that like button. But we got to get this hood off. And in doing so, I need help. Thanks. So convincing you guys that Primer was the new Nardo Gray was a complete failure, but what if we go full Cletus McFarland here and want some airflow? There you go. Here is where we're gonna spend the next several hours. We have a lot of work to do. We got a bunch of sandpaper ready to go. We got 400 grit we're gonna start with, move to 600, and we're gonna finish this thing off with 1,000 grit to keep this as smooth or make this as smooth as possible before wrapping. One other thing we didn't realize, this side of the hood is fully visible from the driver's seat. So it gives us an opportunity here for some subliminal messaging for my wife. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, I also just realized that I do not have any glazing putty. All right, we're gonna start with 400 grit. We're gonna do a wet sand. Once we get that down, we're gonna take that glazing putty and get these real small little nicks. And unfortunately now it's 103 degrees. Let's, let's get to work. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
My dad is definitely not lying. He's been sanding away at his 99 Silverado. Same exact primer if you guys missed it a few weeks back. We sprayed the entire truck. This is a beast of a primer. I've never had so much difficulty sanding down a primer before. I've been thinking, what are you complaining about? It's just primer. Holy crap, this is taking forever. So we're gonna spare you guys these next few hours and we'll see ya, I guess, when we're back here for the Bondo. Woo! Just for perspective, it is now 2 p.m. and I've just finished the first layer of sanding. 400 grit completely done. Everything is silky smooth to the touch. And I was able to sand down some of these imperfections to the point of I only need the glaze putty. I don't need to touch it with Bondo again, which I'm super excited about. And we also have this mesh, which we need to sand down and prep for paint before we wrap as well. So we got a ton of work still to do, but ah, so, so shiny. That is a lot of glazing putty. Fortunately, this stands down way quicker than the primer's been standing down. So as soon as that cures, about five or 10 more minutes, we'll grab the 600 grit and go to town. Now, while we're waiting for that to cure up, it gives us the perfect opportunity to say thank you to the sponsor of this week's video, Skillshare. Woo! Oh, no. Sorry guys, I'm a child. What Skillshare is, is an online learning community for those that are trying to gain additional skills and level up their game and potentially their side hustle. Personally, I'm a father of two and I have a very demanding job, but I spend my weekends out here creating content for you guys because I'm passionate about it. But the days of me spending time in the classroom are kind of a thing of the past. But what Skillshare has given me is an opportunity to kind of dive back in on a topic and subject I'm passionate about. Now, over the last few days, I've been taking a few courses on the topic of YouTube. And you'd think it would be simple and straightforward, but it's really not. There's an art form to creating content. And there's a very popular YouTube channel out there called Yes Theory. Personally, big fan of their content, but more of a fan on how they go about conducting their storylines throughout their videos. They have an entire course up on Skillshare how they go about doing that. I actually finished up that course today while I was waiting for my wife's incentive beverage. And it's little learnings like that that I've been implementing in my videos from week to week that's helping grow this channel. And what's really cool about this offer is the first 1,000 of you guys to use the link in the top of the description below will get an entire one month for free. There's so much you can learn in 30 days. And I know a lot of you can appreciate the content and learnings you can get out of this platform. I wanna thank Skillshare again for sponsoring today's video, but I do think, I do think our glazing putty is right about right for some sanding. Let's get back to work. Tell me that's yours. Heck yeah. <laughs> So the coolest neighbor in the world, my neighbor, uh, he just picked up some golf cart. Looks like a little country club golf cart, but it's got a blue, like, police light on top. That's awesome. Whew, I tell you, there are very few things in the world that are more fun than sanding outside in 105 degree Texas summer heat. And dad, yes, you are correct. This primer sucks to sand. What I'm gonna do next, before I go to the 1000 grit, is paint this black. So there's three of these vents, one here, one on the back side, and then one on the other side, which is the ram air. That way when I get the 1000 grit, I can just stand up here around the edge and it'll take care of any overspray that might be there. And this is where that glazing putty really comes in handy. Those low spots, those chips, where you typically wouldn't see it unless you're feeling for it, it fills in those gaps real nicely. What we have here are a few pieces of throwaway vinyl 
because the fun part of wrapping primer as I'm learning is you can't lift and lay it your vinyl more than once. I don't know why this didn't happen when I laid the vinyl on the unsanded primer, but I guess sanded primer has different properties when it comes to adhesive. So basically I'm sticking this on here once and if I pull that off, very low tack, you'll notice on the back side, it's pulling off kind of that top, top layer of primer and kind of ruining the adhesive here. Now I've read online that what you can do is either get it right the first time, which is a possibility, highly unlikely, or you get a couple pieces of a throwaway vinyl and actually lay it down and rip up basically the very top layer of that primer dust that could be sitting there on the surface because even, even after just like one or two lay, like that's just that's just not gonna stick. Like, and I am sure as heck not good enough to get this thing right the first time, but I'm gonna use these throwaway pieces of vinyl and try to pull up as much of that top layer of primer dust as I can, and everything will go perfectly according to plan. Well, it turns out USPS came in clutch, as they always do. They lost my package. <laughs> they lost the wrap that was supposed to arrive. How you lose a six foot tall tube is beyond me, but they did. We are left with a lemon that we're gonna be figuring out how to make some pretty dang good looking lemonade out of. I have this gloss black vivid vinyl, and it actually turns out that this is nearly the identical color of my truck. What I'm gonna do is use the gloss black we have here, don't have enough of the whole hood, and the carbon fiber we have there to create something cool. Lemon after lemon, guys. I just ran out of my wrap cut, and uh, that's why that's red, and uh, that one's green. Fortunately, I did have some 3M knifeless tape laying around. This is usually meant for like curved areas, with a lot of elasticity in the lines, so you can do nice curves where this is more rigid, it gives you a nice straight cut. So hopefully this is gonna work out in my favor. And here's the game plan. That scoop is gonna be gloss black. This gloss black is very close to the OEM color of the truck. And then the outer sections will be the carbon fiber. Typically you actually reverse this. Typically you go gloss and then the carbon on the scoop. But given the gloss black isn't the same exact OEM color, it's close, but not the same exact, I don't want panel to panel comparison. So if this is sitting next to the fender, you can see that color difference where if it's here, there's not a direct comparison panel to panel. Definitely a blessing in disguise, the fact that the actual vinyl that was supposed to go on here got lost because I have butchered this installation. Actually, doesn't look too bad. So I think what we're gonna do is the middle portion is gonna be the carbon fiber. So that's gonna kind of break up the black in the middle. I think this actually might turn out for the better. It's so much fun, but it's so frustrating. So frustrating. And as luck would have it in this series of unfortunate incompetent events, guess who just found my package? Literally, as we're just working to finish this thing up. My Tiny Bob Vinyl has arrived. Let's hope it's actually the right stuff. Let's pull it out of there and uh, start going to town.
is done and it looks so good. And we added a little bit of a subliminal message for my significant other, my best friend. We're gonna have a nice little complimentary thing. Man, look, look, look. Let's get this thing back up the truck. something in there. The custom livery for you. Is he something? What is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't it the best? To navigate these problems. I'm by myself, you're not around. I try to open up, it wasn't good enough. Put them all and got nothing back. Now I'm stuck in the rain, dealing with Fell in love with a fatal attraction. I really let my guard down, now relaxing. Why did I open up? She taking what you might. It's the best. <laughs> it's complimentary. All right, let's go get dinner. Your parents are gonna sit <laughs> and see that. They're also gonna see this video. Why do you think I was up all night last night? Hey, you. Clearly important. Nice but. <laughs> All right, you guys, what do you think? Here in the middle of the field, gorgeous North Texas, and finally it's under 100 degrees, so we're enjoying this just a little bit before we go home for dinner. This hood is pretty dang epic now. The lines, the ram air, all the, everything within it looks so much better in a gloss finish versus, I know, I know, it's not Nardo Gray, Primer Gray. But that weave, this carbon, is the most realistic of any wrap I've ever used. Now, both of these vinyls are very thick vinyls. So getting around these corners, especially wrapping around a primer is extremely tough. And I'm actually kind of a little bit disappointed. I might go back and try to fix some of these areas where it's starting to bubble up. It just didn't adhere around that corner. The Vivid Vinyl Gloss Black is almost exact to the actual paint color of the truck. We could almost get away with wrapping this entire thing, but obviously I do not have the skills nor competency to execute that properly. That's why this is one, two, three, four, five, six different pieces on one hood. Yes, don't bust my coconuts too much. This is the first hood I've ever wrapped, but I'm kind of happy with it. Just some of the corners, not too stoked about. What do you guys think? This is the time. Comments below, did we totally fail? Did we do the right thing? And this series of unfortunate events going from vinyl we wanted, USPS lost my package, and then they found it. We had an alternative, and we went back to the other alternative. Because of that, I went with a gloss black on the scoop. We ended up here, guys, and I'm stoked with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna head home because it's time for dinner, and I got a bunch of stickers in my butt. So we'll catch you guys in a few days for our next video until that day comes. Y'all take care. Oh, we hope. Aloha. Ciao. He's back. The world's greatest cameraman is back on the vlog. Say hello. Hello. I got a sticker in the butt. I deserve that for putting that. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. That's silly. Ow.